Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, Laz. And today, I just want to talk to you about an uh, anime you may have heard of by a studio you may, maybe have, I don't know, had some family member or friend tell you about it. It's not really all that well known. <laughs> so today, I want to talk about Spirit of the Way by Studio Ghibli. Studio Ghibli is as you probably know and probably may have heard already, the child of uh, Hayao Miyazaki, which is sometimes considered one of the best anime directors of all time, basically. And Studio Ghibli could be considered to be the Disney of Japan. It's, it's really good, it's really good. And knowing that Spirit of the Way is widely covered, everybody knows about it, it's a great anime. I just think that doing a review wouldn't be able to do it justice. So I just want to do something a little bit different today and explain how Spirited Away makes me feel. I will not talk too much about the plot. I will not talk, I may talk about the visuals. I will talk about visuals. But this is a more laid back type of video, more, uh, more, I would say emotional. I wouldn't really call it a, an emotional video, but I would call it something along the lines of explaining the way I feel about this whole anime. So let's start. Firstly, I would like to mention the visuals. Even though I said I wouldn't mention the visuals, the visuals are wonderful. It looks like a uh, Bob Ross painting, basically, with anime characters. You can actually see in the background, you can see how it looks like paintings. How it looks like it's it looks like it's been painted. You know that that when you paint, you see like you use the brush strokes that give an illusion of let's say leaves or something like that. And it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. There is no other way of putting it. The, the visual art style is gorgeous. And also the sound design. My god, the sound design. That is some of the most beautiful music I have ever heard in anything. Not just anime, anything, any sort of media. Some of the most beautiful music I have ever heard. And the overall art direction and that it goes on, that it goes to, is basically looks like something, something that I as a child always aspired to live in. Because always as a child I had this feeling of coziness, of some sort of, it's, it's very difficult to explain, some sort of very warm emotions, very warm feeling when I do see something like like the art style of Spirited Away. And by art style I mean the environment, the architecture, where they are and stuff like that. It is something that that permeated my my childhood and something that, that made me want to live in, in such a place one day. And I would say that is the beginning of, of my love for Japan, basically. Because even though it's, it's not really traditional Japanese, a lot of it is, but some parts are are more industrial, like the outside of that of the building, and it looks a little bit more industrial. But the inside, the inside is almost pure, pure traditional East Asian, and it's it's beautiful. It makes me I have been to places that look like that. I haven't been to places in Japan that look like that. I have been to one or two places in China that look like that. But it's mostly temples and and older places which even though they were taken care of they don't they they look rustic they don't look so flashy they don't look so alive like so many things so many things are going on and it looks so alive and it looks so beautiful and it sounds so beautiful and it just has this perfect synergy of the blend of sound and and video that causes this this warm feeling this this distilled nostalgia that some sometimes that i do feel for this anime even though i've never watched it before this is the first time i watched it but i felt nostalgic for it i felt nostalgic for the way it looked i felt nostalgic for the way it felt i i just it gave me this this sense of nostalgia this this sense of basically escapism to this fantastical world of spirited away and it looks and it looks so alien yet so familiar it looks so strange yet so comforting and so cozy i would say 
it's something, it reminds me of a time in, a very short amount of time in my childhood. I'm not gonna lie, I had a horrible childhood. It's, it is what it is. It's history, you can't really change it. With all the wars and, and poverty and shit like that, it, it just happened. Uh, just it reminded me of this short period of time in my childhood. This, <laughs> albeit very short period of time in my childhood, when I, when I had no care in the world, where everything was just blissful, well, where everything was just perfect. I didn't have to worry about food. I didn't feel hungry. I didn't feel scared. I didn't feel any, any sort of negative emotion. It was just a time of well-being, a time of peace. And that's what this anime gives me. It gives me a snippet of that time of peace that I once had for that short period of time. And I'm sure that everybody feels this way as well. They had, they always, people always look at their childhood very fondly and they look at their childhood as a time of peace and carefreeness, right? And that's how I felt too. I felt like that and it gave me this influx, this shot, this pure distilled nostalgia for that time and it was beautiful it was it was one of the most wonderful experiences i have ever seen put the, in, in any sort of media now there are some flaws which i won't get into there are some things that i don't like the story is bullshit but it's it's not really bullshit the story is it's okay but it's just a a tool to keep moving from from one scene to another and from one area to another, and from one character to another. It's just a, a, a plot device to, to keep you in this state, in this state of carefreeness and childhood and bliss. Moreover, it is very difficult to find anime or any other media that manage to create a fantastical world, to create a fantasy world which has that kind of liveliness. It's very difficult to find that. It, what, what comes to your mind when you when you think of a fantasy world that is very good, very well crafted? Maybe let's say Harry Potter or something, or or Alice in Wonderland, which this this derives a lot of. It has a lot of similarities with Alice in Wonderland, and it's very Alice in Wonderlandish, so to say, but more Japanese, more Eastern, which is great. I love it. I, I never really enjoyed Alice in Wonderland that much. I did enjoy this a lot. It, it's very difficult to find the some sort of fanta, a fantasy world that has this amount of livelihood. Every scene is packed to the brim with charm and with beauty. And that's, that's what gets me. That amount of detail and attention to detail to all of the parts and all of the little, little details. Attention to detail to all of the little details. Yeah, I know. English is not my native language, don't judge me. <laughs> the attention to detail in every little nook and cranny is very rarely seen in media. It, it can be found. It can be found, let's not lie. There are, there are other like shows or or anime or movies or what what not or games that have this amount of attention to detail like every little every little thing was thought out but it's very few and far between it's very rare so this anime this anime movie this i, I would gladly say it's a masterpiece and i and i the academy awards it won is all well deserved so overall i think if you haven't watched this, you definitely should because it is one of those windows into your past, into everybody's past, into everybody's childhood. The window into that carefree time, into that beautiful time that it's it's something that everybody needs to, to revisit, at least in thought or, or in media or whatnot. It is something that, that should not be forgotten as we grow older and grow more uh, bitter at the world and more disassociated with everything really when it all turns into survival and working and making money and living we need to look back on that time that w when we were for all intents and purposes free like if you if you think about it when you're a child you only want to grow up to do all these things that you see other people doing but then when you're older you just wish you you enjoyed that time more 
and more fully. That's it from me guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below if you agree or disagree with me, if you want to ask me questions. Follow me on my socials and I stream every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. I stream mostly Japanese games over on Twitch. Join me, come and watch. And if you're a kind-hearted soul, there is a Patreon. You, you shouldn't feel obliged to it. And also, I, I'm adding another feature of people who subscribe to Patreon get to view my old cringy video game review videos which are unlisted on this very channel. So I think I think it would be interesting to see for all you guys. Thank you so much for watching everybody and I'll see you next time.